Here at Jamf, we bring Apple into the enterprise, and we've noted some challenges when it comes to endpoint security on the Mac. One of them is the risk of vendors breaking the Mac if a kernel extension is deployed to the macOS platform. Additionally, third-party extensions delay upgrades, ultimately depriving users from using features that are designed to keep them productive. Not only is the speed of upgrade and unfriendly behaviors of a kernel extension a concern, but also there's a lack of visibility when it comes to macOS for InfoSec professionals. This is due to the history of those professionals not being able to see events happen directly on the Mac. Many InfoSec professionals assume Mac to be secure or something that they'll never be able to gain necessary information from. This leads to a lack of Mac-specific detections which are required for in-depth threat hunting. We've noted these challenges and we've done something about them. We've eliminated the third-party risk of breaking a Mac and we've deployed a Kexless agent which runs out of user mode as root. This means that you can have seamless macOS upgrades on day of release. Not only have we reduced the burden of unfriendly software like Kex and unlocked real-time features with immediate upgrades, we've introduced unprecedented enterprise visibility into Apple's security tools by gleaning information from frameworks shipped directly on the Mac. We use OpenBSM to audit or record events from the OS itself allowing us granularity within Mac events such as process executions or file events. We take this data or telemetry and we stitch together logic that identifies behaviors or indicators of compromise. We then code that directly into Apple's game engine. It allows us to do on-device real-time detection. This means that InfoSec professionals can send our collections directly to their backend, such as a SIM, without relying on any post-processing. While we are bringing unprecedented visibility to Mac, we allow professionals to write detects directly to our purpose-built sensor. Introducing Jamf Protect, the first endpoint security purpose-built for Mac. This is the Jamf Protect dashboard, and it greets you upon login. It's a high level of information letting you know exactly what's happening across the computers to which Jamf Protect has been administered. Let's take a look at Insights. This is a view at which you can measure your fleet against the CIS benchmarks, get real-time updates about security configurations across your network. You can set your check-in to whatever frequency you like. Default is 24 hours. You also have the ability to disable CIS measurements within the benchmark that are not relevant to the context of your business. To disable, you uncheck these boxes and hit save. And as you go back to the dashboard, you can quickly toggle in between the individual measurements that you care about and the measurements that you've disabled given the context of your environment. Macs come with built-in security tools. Jamf Protect allows you to peer into what those tools are. XProtect is the built-in antivirus, and it has various versions, so it's important it stays up to date. It's also important for Gatekeeper to be enabled, which monitors for nefarious applications from the Mac App Store. This dashboard will let you know when Gatekeeper has detected a nefarious app from the Mac App Store, when malware removal tool has removed malware with a known signature by Apple, or when XProtect has blocked a certain application from executing on the Mac. Let's take a look at the computer that's not enabled with Gatekeeper. When we click on the dashboard, we can easily find which computer that is. As we dig in, we can easily see a status of a single computer based on our CIS benchmark configuration. The Insights Report card tells us that 20 CIS measurements that we care about are failing. We can also see a timeline of when alerts have been detected on this computer. Considering there were 12 alerts within the last 24 hours, we can dig into the alert section and individually go into what is being detected specifically on this computer. The first three alerts indicate that the built-in Apple security tools are doing their job effectively and we have visibility into when Apple takes action. As we look below it, we see there are alerts that need to be looked into further. Take a look at this event titled Spearfish. With this alert, we have direct visibility into process arguments where we can see a blob of text that is Base64 encoded and is requested to be decoded by a Python process. This Microsoft Excel parent process that's known is spawning a suspicious child. Because this is not expected behavior of a Microsoft Excel process, it is definitely activity that we need to look into further. Jamf Protect has pre-built analytics that our team of Mac experts are continuously contributing to. 
These analytics consist of TTPs, tactics, techniques, and procedures, which attackers commonly or uncommonly use. By acting on the telemetry that we're collecting based off behaviors, we're able to detect indicators of compromise, or IOCs, which put endpoints at risk within the corporate network. An example of an IOC is a disguised executable where a file type is running a process path that includes a file extension that should not be executing in that specific process. This is a masquerading technique defined by MITRE's attack framework. We allow you to create your own analytics by writing detects directly to our sensor and bringing the context of your own network to your detections. The documentation on the right hand side are the data types for you to use and the drop-down that you just saw are the sensor types that you'd be able to interact with to be able to create new detects. We've created an analytic builder so that you have a step-by-step -step process to match with the documentation on the right. This helps make advanced customization a bit easier on the user. Introduction of Apple's endpoint security framework has empowered our Kexless agent to do prevention and take direct blocking actions. We can do so by identifying a file hash or identifying signing information due to the granularity of the data that we collect. We allow our customers to make decisions off of a team ID surfaced within our telemetry. By assigning a team ID, you're capable of blocking an array of malicious activity versus chasing down single hashes. With that said, you do have the ability to block by individual hashes or signatures as well. Now that we've discussed the features of Jamf Protect, Let's figure out how you can collect this information on your own. You can easily enable or disable the Jamf Protect Cloud within this view. Add an alert and logging endpoint to a specific backend, as well as define which data you want to collect per your alert or logging stream. The data customization that's exhibited here allows organizations to only collect data that is important to their organization. Once this data is defined and it's decided where it will reside, you'll be able to create a plan which overlays certain personas within your organization. The important part about these plans is that each plan can have a different set of analytics. This is important as you may want to monitor certain personas or groups within your organizations differently due to expected behaviors. Since you now have a plan and action, you can create a deployment package directly within this console. Once you create a deployment, the PKG will be hosted within the UI. You will then simply download and administer the PKG via your MDM. 